welcome back to my channel now before we get started with today's video I do have a few updates that I wanted to speak to you guys about now the first update is something that a lot of you have been asking me and that is what is up with the Shelby GT350 engine rebuild project? So we move over here on this side, we can speak a little bit about that. So funny thing is that the day that I ended up dropping the engine, I actually left out of town. So I've been gone, but now I'm here and now we can finally continue this project back. So let me show you what's next. So the engine is here and let me tell you that Chris and I were able to move it from this side where you guys saw it all the way over here, but it was a little bit complex just because this is heavy and we did not want to have it fall or anything. But luckily we were able to move it here so now next step for this is actually going to be stripping the engine and then getting it on the engine stand I have the engine stand in this box right here so I still need to build that I have the engine hoist right here so that means we're gonna be disconnecting it from the transmission removing all the accessories and then getting it on the engine stand but I'm also waiting on an engine lift adapter so I'm still waiting for that to get here so that's going to be in preparation for then disassembling it so this is going to be very very excited like I've mentioned in the previous video second update is about the Camaro because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me ever since I got headers when was I gonna get it tuned so it's actually going to be getting tuned and dyno tomorrow so do expect that video next week I'm very curious and excited to see what it's going to be making now with the new tune and the headers and now the third update which is something else that I've been getting many questions about is what is up with the Hellcat Red Eye and here it is and let me tell you that there's three videos that are going to be coming very shortly about it so yes finally some content with the Red Eye I know that you guys have been waiting for that so there's tons of exciting things happening that are going to be coming very shortly to the channel now moving on to today's video let me tell you that it's going to be straight to the point and this has to do with my garage updates and something that a lot of you have been telling me to get for such a long time now and that is a new toolbox and this is it you guys can see the difference this one is a lot larger than the previous one that I used to have which is right here so today's video I'm just going to speak about why I chose this one and also we're going to be moving the tools from this toolbox to this one so let's go ahead and get started so the reasons behind getting this husky toolbox were pretty much a no-brainer I mean the first one is pretty obvious it is a lot larger than this cobalt one that I've had for quite some time now and as you guys know I've already outgrown this for quite a while so I really did need to get something a lot larger so this is it this measures 61 inches in width and this has 10 drawers this only has five drawers so this is a lot I mean this is a ton more space and just take a look at this first drawer right here that completely sold me this is just enormous <laughs> I mean let me just show you the first drawer here this is tiny compared <laughs> to this first drawer and I mean if we go down the other drawers this is probably just a little bit smaller than these cobalt drawers but I mean it works fine just because there's a ton and then we have obviously here the ones towards the bottom have just a lot more depth to it Another reason why I also liked this toolbox a lot is because of the workspace here on top so there's tons of room here so I have a lot more workspace in here which I mean this was pretty tiny and I mean this was just cramped so I really couldn't do much here and I get to have my vice here just because I really couldn't have it here on my cobalt but I can finally have it here which I will be using it in my future project so I'm really happy with that and I mean another thing that I really did like which wasn't something that I was necessarily looking for but it was a nice added bonus is the pegboard here so I really do like that as well I've been eyeing this toolbox for quite some time now I mean this one just fits my needs better in terms of space and then the workbench here on top so let's go ahead and get started with transferring all the tools from this previous cobalt one to this husky toolbox I really really like how these drills look here on the pegboard now one thing that just didn't work for me were these so if you see here once I tried to place them here on the pegboard it's just too short for it it just doesn't go and I even tried like just extending it but it just doesn't go so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Home Depot and see if I can find some 
universal ones even though I thought those were it but either way those were for these little containers here so I think for now I'm just going to leave them here in this drawer because I really do like how it looks and fits perfectly along with my cordless ratchets and the air ratchet now after that I was trying to decide where to put these so I have some torque wrenches and some digital calipers I really wanted to place them in this drawer but they just don't all fit completely flat out so I'm still thinking I'm still working on where to put that but now I think we're going to move on to this last drawer here which this drawer was always very annoying to me just because it's stuffed with so many things it's like all these chargers and miscellaneous things just always end up going here and it's just really hard to go through everything so and then we can finally move on here to the first drawer which has all these ratchets all these extensions and then I'll move on to probably putting them here on this first drawer I don't know yet uh, let's take this one step at a time so let's keep going I was just done organizing at least this first part of the first drawer with the ratchets, the extensions, the converters, and I had to place these drill bits here. And then I moved all of the sockets here onto this workspace and I thought, you know, there's not enough space here in the first drawer because I really want all of these sockets to be here, but there's not enough space because I really want to put these trays here side by side. And right now with all of these taking up all of the space, there really isn't at least to put them side by side. So I think what I'm going to do now is move these drill bits up there and then that way they can be closer to the drills then I'm going to reorganize the way that I have these converters and then these extensions I think I'm just going to take advantage of the space up here and then that way I can have more room to put those trays side by side so ideally what I want are the metric sockets here and then next to them I want the SAE sockets and I really want them all to fit here in this first door once we're done organizing that then we can move on to probably like my favorite part which are the wrenches this right now is a complete mess of wrenches I hate to see them like this honestly for some reason I really do enjoy like I think out of everything here I enjoy organizing the wrenches the most so I'm going to be really happy once they're nice and organized and easily accessible here in the new toolbox and then we can move on to this last drawer which is just a complete mess of random tools here this is horrible every single time I need to come look for something here I dread it just because I I can't find anything in this mess so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to having it here and we still have plenty of space so once we're done with the first drawer then we'll move on to all the other ones so let's keep going
I think I'm done organizing the new toolbox with all of my tools. There's still a few left here, but these are just miscellaneous things that I just, we're not gonna get into that now because in that I'll spend here, I don't know, like three more hours reorganizing and taking things apart. So we'll just go with what I have now, which is the main stuff that I use. So here I have the drills on the pegboard. I still need to buy a little bit more of these hooks because I have uh, two hammers that I need to hang up. So I didn't get to do that. And I did end up putting these drill bits here. And I also put this here. So shout out to GCAD, he's a subscriber and he did send me this along with other goodies he is from Canada so representing Canada here scale Raptor model this is pretty cool so this was gifted by a friend so this is a 10 millimeter wrench it's also a bottle opener I'm not sure if you guys can see that because it's that cool I don't think I'll ever use it I think I'm just gonna leave it here because it's very unique I've never seen that before but now let's start off with my favorite drawer which is the first one just because it's very big it's very spacious look at the amount of tools this is night and day compared to the cobalt of how much I can fit here so I did end up reorganizing this just like how I was telling you guys so I do have all of my ratchets my extensions all sizes the converters allen keys so this works better just because I ended up taking advantage of the space here on top and not just how I was just doing this horizontally. And then here, this was the plan initially from the beginning. So I'm glad that I was able to put this together. So I do have all of my metric uh, size sockets and then I have SAE and I have all different kinds of sockets. Now these are here and they're not organized just because I do need to purchase more of these. So I really do like how I have taken advantage of all of this space here in my first drawer, but now moving on. So now the next three drawers are <laughs> my favorite, my favorite tools ever, which are the wrenches. So I mean, this just shows me, if you can see all of this empty space here, that I need more wrenches. And this is a pretty good idea just to see what you're missing here. So I'm missing quite a few, so I think I'll just end up getting those uh, in due time though. <laughs> my all time favorite favorite though has to be my ratcheting wrenches and then flex head ratcheting wrenches but you guys have no idea how many times a ratcheting wrench has just come in so handy it saved the day so i really really do like these i probably have to say that these are probably my top three favorite tools so as you see again there's plenty of space here so i do need to purchase more of these and hey i'm not mad about it because i love me some ratcheting wrenches and the next drawer after that, I'd call this the specialty wrench drawer. So we have our offset wrenches here. We have our flare note wrenches. So once again, this is metric. This is SAE, just the three lonely SAE ones here. We have our little baby wrenches here that I mean, you rarely use. So both for metric and SAE. And we also have our crow foot. So this is new. I still haven't used this, but once again, tons of room here, which I do like because plenty of room for growth. Then this drawer is just pliers so i really do like this this is all kinds of pliers <laughs> this last drawer here this is just kind of like one of these two drawers here this is just a whole bunch of just miscellaneous tools here that i honestly i couldn't really find a spot they just couldn't really fit in with like just specific drawers that i have for other things so i mean these are the two hammers that i need to hang up here on the pegboard once i get those other hooks but everything else here i mean i, I don't know i'll have to probably find a spot but here in this drawer I think it fits well because I can easily see it it's not too crowded like how it was I did end up <laughs> putting all of these things here I was telling you that I don't know if I really liked it how it fit but I ended up putting it here now the following drawer is another one of my favorites this is the screwdriver drawer it has all kinds of screwdrivers it has Phillips flatheads pick tools and I like how organized this is and if we move on this is the drawer that you guys saw before so this has the cordless ratchets along with the air ratchet and then just these that I couldn't hang here on the pegboard so I do need to get more of those little hangers this deep drawer here has just a few things it has some chargers the Dremel or Dremel accessory kit and then moving on to the last door of the toolbox we this is pretty empty here it just has a few things but there's still room here towards the bottom this just has a heat gun it has a tool needed for a compression test just a few more things but I am so so happy that I now have this toolbox <laughs> it is something that I've been eyeing and I've been wanting for quite some time now I just knew that I first had to get the garage organized here with the list and then eventually I did want to move on and get a bigger toolbox just because I mean I really needed it and you guys know that more than me so I'm overall I'm very very happy with this and I'm going to be putting this to good use from now on I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one